Greetings, friends around the world. You are listening to the Bible News Prophecy Program. My name is Alexander Sashevich. I'm your host, and welcome. Are you aware, friends, that Russia and Iran are looking to bypass the USA dollar with a type of gold-backed currency? In January 18, 2023, we learned that the Central Bank of Iran is reportedly cooperating with the Russian government to jointly issue a new cryptocurrency backed by gold. According to the Russian news agency Vedemusti, Iran is working with Russia to create a token of the Persian Gulf region that would serve as a payment method in foreign trade. The token is projected to be issued in the form of a stable coin backed by gold, according to Alexander Brezhnikov, executive director of the Russian Association of Crypto Industry and Blockchain. The stable coin aims to enable cross-border transactions instead of fiat currencies like the United States dollar, the Russian ruble, or the Iranian real. The report notes that the potential cryptocurrency would operate in a special economic zone in Astrakhan, where Russia started to accept Iranian cargo shipments. Well, Russian lawmaker Antony Tkachev, a member of the Committee of Information Policy, Information Technology and Communications, stressed that a joint stablecoin project would be only be possible once the digital asset market is fully regulated in Russia. After multiple delays, the Russian lower house of parliament once again promised to start regulating crypto transactions in 2023. Well, friends, what we need to know is that the US trade and other policies have increased the desire of certain nations to topple the US dollar's position as the world's primary reserve currency. Sir Isaac Newton's third law of physics was, for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. While that is not completely applicable in international politics, the reality is that there are unintended consequences with USA sanctions, threats, tariffs, military interventions, etc. Now Russia has been working uh, on Euro-Asian Economic Union. So Russia, it's Euro-Asian Economic Union and the BRICS nations are working toward pushing aside the United States of America's dollar. As far as gold goes, it is prophesied to have value after the USA dollar is worthless indeed. Now for the petrodollar to work, large oil producers need to take it above other currencies. China, a big buyer, and Saudi Arabia, a major producer, are taking serious steps that way. In fact, Saudi Arabia is open to discuss about trade in currencies other than the US dollar. That was the uh, uh, announcement of the Kingdom's Finance Minister, Mohammed al Jadan on January 18, 2023, in his tweet. Now, Saudi Arabia just killed petrodollar. Are you aware of that, friends? On January 18, 2023, we received the news that the last 24 hours have marked another major waypoint along the path to a long-held contention of some of us that Russia, China, and Saudi Arabia are going to make a massive collective push to try and dethrone the U.S. dollar as global reserve currency. Put simply, we believed and have, belie- have believed that there is a historical divide in the making between the BRICS nations, led by Russia and China, and the West, led by the United States. Namely, Russia and China cannot do it on their own. They're working with nations like Saudi Arabia and India to help put their plans into practice. Now, it appears that Saudi Arabia has just issued a death knell to the exclusivity of the petrodollar as USA and the rest of us once knew it. It's the first of several dominoes that needs to fall before the U.S. is exposed financially as an emperor with no clothes. <coughs> so Saudi Arabia, Zero Hedge announced on 18th of January 2023 that Saudi Arabia was open to discussion about trade in currencies. Saudi Arabia is open to going around the U.S. dollar and settling trade in other currencies. The kingdom's finance minister told Bloomberg TV on Tuesday while he was in Davos, of course, obviously part of the World Economic Forum. There are no issues with discussing how we settle our trade arrangements, whether it is in the US dollar, whether it is in the euro, 
whether it is in Saudi Riyadh, Mohammed Al Jadan told Bloomberg TV on Tuesday in an interview in Davos. I don't think we're having, we're waving away or ruling out any discussion that will help improve the trade around the world, Al Jadan said. The world's larger oil exporter, while has maintained a currency peg to the dollar for decades indeed, is seeking to strengthen its relation with crucial trade partners including China. The kingdom is a pillar petro a petrodollar system established in the 1970s that relies on pricing crude exports in the United States currency. Friends, during President Xi Jinping's visit to Riyadh last year, and Xi Jinping is the president of China, the two countries agreed to boost coordination on energy policy and exploration. During that trip, Xi said that China would make efforts to buy more oil from the Middle East and also wanted to settle that trade in the yuan, yuan which is the Chinese, Chinese currency. Now, the Saudis are angry with the Biden regime for lecturing them over the killing of Jamal Khashoggi and harassing them incessantly over LGBTQ, etc. rights. Now, Chinese President Xi Jinping has pledged to ramp up efforts to promote the use of the yuan in energy deals. The de-dollarization of the global oil industry is in a treacherous mission creep phase. Things like this don't happen quickly, but determinedly and gradually, not exactly fitting into today's media headline game that only considers instant developments. But it is happening, and the tide will be turned based on current and near the medium term geopolitical developments indeed, and you should be all ready for that, friends. Credit Suisse Zoltan Poja recently warned clients, in essence, that the the, the de-dollarization of the global oil industry is in full swing, even if we can't see the final end game from here. And it's all about China, of course. Poja does the OPEC math for us. Some 40% of proven oil reserves belonging to OPEC plus members is owned by Russia, Iran and Venezuela, all of whom are selling to China at major discounts and all of whom are on board with Beijing's Petro Yuan plan. The countries of the Gulf Cooperation Council, GCC, most notably Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates, account for another 40% of proven oil reserves and they're increasingly cozying up to China. Yes, we can see that. Friends, the remaining 20% is also accessible to China, and China is already the largest importer of crude in the world. What it all means is that de-dollarization is marching to the beat of a fairly steady drum. In terms of global trade, the yuan accounts for around 2.7% of settlements, while the dollar accounts for 41%. These are the numbers that prompt the new trend of instant gratification to suggest this is not an imminent threat to the dollar. They're wrong. The biggest threats take a significant amount of time to develop. From here on out, the pace will pick up momentum indeed. Now, in a note to clients carried by the Irish Times, Pojar warns, quote, China wants to rewrite the rules of the global energy market and it will do, do it by first removing the dollar from the orbit of the BRIC countries, Brazil, Russia, India, China, that have been affected by the weaponization of dollar foreign exchange reserves meant to punish Russia and keep Putin from filling his wartime coffers. What's has been happening here is a window of enormous opportunity for Beijing, which has now told the Gulf countries that they are absolutely guaranteed buyers for oil and gas and payment for payment in yuan, with Xi Jinping promising to import crude oil and natural gas in a consistent manner and in large quantities from GCC. Xi Jinping's trip to Saudi Arabia in early December was precisely about the yuan. This was the defining moment for the petro yuan. It was an invitation and it was well received. China and Saudi Arabia signed over 
$30 billion in trade deals during the visit. That's $30 billion in leverage that will only help further promote the Petro Yuan plan. Well, friends, both China and Saudi Arabia are indeed upset with the United States of America. In the past, Saudi Arabia threatened to ditch the petrodollar if the U.S. passed certain legislation. Now, what is the petrodollar and why could that be important? Well, friends, because essentially it is the fact that although the U.S. dollar is no longer backed by gold, like it was over 50 years ago, since most oil is priced in U.S. dollar, that gives the U.S. dollar a type of backing in a broadly needed commodity. This ensures that internationally the U.S. dollar will have value, so it is sometimes called a petrodollar. Now, after the collapse of the Bretton Woods gold standard in early 1970s, the U.S. struck a deal with Saudi Arabia to standardize oil prices in dollar terms. Throughout this, this deal, the petrodollar system was born, along with a paradigm shift away from pegged exchanged rates and gold-backed currencies to non-backed floating rate regimes. The petrodollar system elevated the U.S. dollar to the world's reserve currency and through this status, the U.S. is able to enjoy persistent trade deficits and become a global economic hegemony. The petrodollar system also provides the United States financial markets with a source of liquidity and foreign capital inflows through petrodollar recycling. However, before the effect of the petrodollars on the U.S. dollar can be examined, a brief history lesson is in order. Now, since the most sought-after commodity in the world, and that is oil, is priced in the U.S. dollars, the petrodollar helped to elevate the greenback as the world's dominant currency. In fact, according to the Bank for International Settlements, Three annual survey, 87% of all foreign exchange deals initiated in April 2013 involved the U.S. dollar on one side. With this status, the U.S. dollar was able to enjoy what some have asserted to be an exorbitant privilege of perpetually financing its current account deficit by issuing dollar-denominated assets at very low rates of interest as well as becoming a global economic hegemony. So, we see, dear friends, the petrodollar is obviously coming to its own end. Now, countries like China, who hold vast quantities of U.S. debt, have voiced their concern in the past about the possible dilutive effects to their asset holdings should the dollar depreciate. However, the privileges associated with being able to run persistent current accounts deficits come at a price. As the reserve currency, the U.S. is obligated to run these deficits to fulfill reserve requirements in an ever in an ever expanding global economy. If the United States were to stop running these deficits, the resulting shortage of liquidity can pull the world into an economic contraction. However, if the persistent deficits continued at infinitum, eventually foreign countries will begin begin to doubt the valuation of the dollar and the greenback may lose its role as the reserve currency. This is known as the Triffin Dilemma. So, if enough oil production nations stop pricing oil in US dollar, theory that the US dollar will drop or even collapse will come true. And uh, we will see that in the coming years. In any case, stay watchful, dear friends. And uh, for more in-depth information, www.biblenewsprophecy.net. My name is Alexander Sasha and this is Bible News Prophecy Program. Until next time, goodbye, friends.